Hey, Brian from Garage Mall Hall. Today I have two power tools I picked up from Harbor Freight. Uh, one is their cordless stapler, and the other one is their Brad nailer. And I, I got to be honest with you, I'm, I've been so impressed with these. Uh, I've used them for probably about two weeks already. Um, in my studio, I had to put up a bunch of more insulation just because uh, this winter was a little on the tough side. So I wanted to be able to get up there. And the way I had to put my insulation in, I had to use a lot of like these little sections of two by four, like uh, basically one by one blocks to help suspend the insulation up into the roof area. On top of that, I needed the stapler to be able to, one, be able to staple through two by fours, and also uh, the sections that cross the beams, I was putting some duct tape across and then I was actually putting a staple on it to help support the insulation up there. I don't know if you've ever dealt with that styrofoam board insulation. It's, it's a bit tricky to get into the right place. Anyway, before I had put a, a layer on and I had used um, basically pneumatic air guns as a, the Brad nailer and a stapler. And let me tell you, there's nothing worse than trying to drape hoses over, you know, going through rafters and beams and everything else. It, it was just like a mess. It makes the equipment heavy, especially I have 12 foot ceilings in here. So you can imagine I have 12 foot of airline and then I'm trying to Brad nail in different pieces of two by four. Anyway, you, you get the idea. So I got these thinking that let's make life easier. And it absolutely, it, it was crazy how great of a job these actually did. So I'll give you an idea. I was using two inch staples and going into sections of two by four and I'll give you kind of a quick example. I mean, that's how fast it goes. And the surprising thing, it actually has a depth gauge on this. So if you crank it all the way to the left hand side, let me flip to the other side so you can kind of see. So it's basically going to leave a little bit of a, it's kind of hard to see in a, in a camera. Let me just bring that up. So it's going to leave it out a little bit. Now, if you want it basically all the way down, you just put that down. And I'm excited about this because on the, the pneumatic guns that I have, it doesn't have this. So with this, so it basically makes it flush. Let me try to get that camera angle. So that one's flush. And then you can see how this one is kind of raised up. So, and that's all by the dial, so that's great. And I've been using the three amp battery, uh, totally recommend that. I start off using a two amp battery and you, it just doesn't have enough oomph to it. So definitely get the three amp batteries with that as well. And then the, the Brad nailer, again, I mean, the fact it's cordless and there's no air hose on this makes this absolutely a dream to use. So again, I'm using the two inch nails on this. So try to let me get that camera going on that to give you an idea. So same thing, this has a ability to recess that nail when you put it together, to give you an idea of the power it has. Okay, so that is basically two pieces of the two by four. So I put that two inch nail in there one and a half so you got half an inch holding it with i mean you're not going to pull that apart that's how great this this nail gun actually works and i got to be honest with you i did have a problem the first time i used this i had um let me see where the, that extra tool is on here it was oh okay so it has an allen key right here and the second time I used this it jammed now it wasn't because of a tool error it was actually a user area I didn't have this the press down flat enough and when I squeezed the trigger I think I moved and anyway I ended up getting a nail jammed in here it does have this allen key that comes with it and it's very easy to do as long as you're not dumping out your nails and yeah, let me get that flipped out first so let's get the nails out of the way 
and obviously make sure you, you take your battery out. And this is how I was able to basically free, like I said, I had the nail jammed in there and it's kind of hard to see, but that is basically where it would track through. And then you have these two pieces here on the outside. So you just basically loosen that up on either side. So they are in there pretty tight. And then what you do is you just open this up. And this is in the unlikely part that you may actually get a, a jam in there. Oh, and there's, you have two up here as well that you have to loosen up. So it's four all together. See, this was act, the, the first week I was using this. The first day, the first day. It was actually the second nail I put in there. And I was like, are you kidding me? And leave you me. I was up on my ladder. It's probably not the phrase I actually used, but. So again, I think it's easier once you have them all undone at the same time. So that pulls out. Now I'm gonna cover up these so you can flip it over so you can kind of see the canal that's in there. And then this is the, the plunger, I guess is what the technical term would be, that's driving that nail down through that, that kind of like that, I want to call it like reservoir, but it's not. So I ended up having the nail was caught in there, freed it up, piece of cake, I put this back on and then I was able to basically put this back down and again total user user error because I have probably put in close to a thousand nails with this already I know it seems like a lot in two weeks but I mean I was just going at it really fast and like I said, it only jammed on me the first time. And I don't want to overemphasize that because then, you know, you're going to be watching this and be like, oh, it jammed. You know, it, it happens. It happens with any tools, any pneumatic tool that you've ever had that you've used to shoot nails in something or staples. Oh, and make sure these are snug. And uh, again, I don't want to overemphasize. I had a problem, but... It comes with a tool, an Allen wrench, hex wrench, just for that issue if you run across that. And like I said, in, it goes in here and sits in there. So I think I put that in right. And it sits there, so it's not going to pop out. And then again, let's put the brad nails back in. And again, they're two inches. So let's line them up. Make sure we're all on the same track. Close that. Reinstall the battery. And then we are back in business. And same thing, you can put this all the way to the left. And then it's going to basically let that nail sit out a little bit. I don't know why you'd want that, but who knows. Redial it all the way back to the right. And then that's basically going to kind of like countersink it. I mean, it just puts it just a little bit below whatever surface you're working on. Um, you can even do this on the angle that I notice and see how that kind of came up there. But that's just part of the, the brad nail sequence. So, I mean, that's good. So always make sure your hands are kind of clear of whatever you're nailing into. And again, if you hit a knot or something like that, you're gonna get that. And again, it's part of the woodworking trade. You're always gonna run across things but yeah, absolutely super impressed with both of these tools. And I got it, I mean, with the three amp battery, I was able to get like, um, it, it seemed like I got a whole day out of working up in my attic rafters and stuff in my studio, uh, getting these to, to work. I didn't have to worry about coming back down, charging them up. But again, that's your three amp battery. Uh, one thing, it's also got a belt loop and I wear carpenter jeans, so you have like a hammer loop. So I was putting them in there. Um, they are light. 
However, when you put them on your pants, they will seem heavy. If you have a regular belt on, you gotta make sure you, you have your belt nice and tight so that doesn't happen. I wouldn't recommend putting uh, like a double pistol one on either side. Uh, they will pull your pants down unless you're wearing a pair of suspenders. I did find that out right away. Um, actually, I was even to, like, I was even going to configure some sort of um, shoulder strap that I could like wrap through this hook and put it over my shoulder while I'm going up a ladder, kind of like keep it like behind me as I'm going up. And again, they are light, but they are heavy when you put them on your uh, your jeans, your work pants, uh, if you know what I mean. So again, just I, I can't say anything more than uh, absolutely impressed. I love these things. And it has made my uh, projects, my, you know, my insulation project so much easier. I, I can't even begin to tell you. Um, anyhow, uh, Brian from Dodgeball Hall, thanks for watching. And with your Boyer cordless nailer and stapler, uh, be safe out there.